bless the Lord, oh my soul. To my channel is Debbie in the building, as always. Guys, in today's video, I want to quickly show you guys how I prepare my baby's food. Yeah, this video was inspired by Fantastic Fever. Yeah, in case if you don't know who Fantastic Fever is, she's an amazing woman, a Nigerian YouTuber based here in Italy with three amazing kids and pregnant for the fourth one. I usually watch her uploads and watching her has been a blessing to me honestly because i've learned so many things from her you know from watching her channels so one of those days i was just trying to catch up on her videos that i missed i saw a video where she made her baby's food that's and um, her last baby caleb's food when caleb was six months old <laughs> so when i so the video I quickly clicked on it, you know, and watched yeah. it. After watching it, I just said to myself, Oh God, <laughs> thank you for this video. This video is really a blessing to me <laughs> because I've been struggling with as I'm trying to find out what I'll give to my baby. Because I did an exclusive my baby seven months right now. So, since he became six months, I've been giving him food, and I w the food I've been giving him, him has been a processed food. And guys, I'm not a fan of processed food for kids, especially for kids. I don't like giving kids processed food. This is what I was giving him before. He likes it, but I'm not just comfortable with it at all, honestly. I wasn't comfortable with it at all. So, when I came across that video, I was so happy. I was so happy so i decided to try it and guess what guys my son enjoyed it he loves it okay i was like god i thank you <laughs> so since then i started giving it to him although sometimes once in a while when i'm, I'm not able to prepare the double food I, I usually give him this one but once in a while it's not like a frequent again so guys so i decided to share with you guys hopefully this will also help someone out there you know as her video helped me and is a blessing to me i know my own will also be a blessing to some other person out there so that's why i decided to share it with you guys guys please don't forget to check out her channel i'll put the link to her channel in my description box go and check her out and also find out how she made her own yeah because i i followed her method is exactly the way she made her but just that we didn't use um the same brand of items uh, some of the items yeah so guys don't forget to like this video if you like this baby food i'm going to make and don't also forget to share you are free to share sharing is always allowed you know share to everyone you can share to any of your friend that is a mom you can share to your your relatives your um fans just share share in all your platforms <laughs> so guys i've talked so much in this video but please bear with me let's that's preparing the baby food. These are the ingredients I'll be using. Olive oil, celery, two carrots, two Irish potatoes, shredded cheese, mashed fish, tin, zucchini, no salt, and spices. So I started by scraping the back of the Irish potatoes and the carrots, you know. I washed them and I made sure I washed my hand before even touching everything, you know. So I washed the carrots and the potatoes 
scraped the back, washed it again, and now I went ahead and chopped them into smaller cubes, put them in the pot as you can see. And then I added one cup to a cup and half. Yeah, that's the measurement I used because I don't have um, a measuring jug that she used in her own recipe. So, guys, remember you don't need salt or spices in this baby food. All you need to do is cook it. While the carrots and potatoes are cooking, I went ahead and also chopped the, the celery and the zucchini. Mind you, I've already washed them. I washed them with bicarbonate. If you don't have bicarbonate of soda, you can also use salt. It helps to kill the germs, you know. On the vegetable so I used bicarbonate of soda to wash the vegetables yeah now I came back and checked the carrots and the potatoes then went ahead and added the zucchini and the celery as you can see then stirred it properly and covered it to cook till it's soft now i went ahead and <coughs> checked it and then added the remaining ingredients which is the fish I'm using fish for my in house she used turkey you know this um, fish is for babies actually because it has already been blended then I added the cheese. I used two spoons. And she said in her video <laughs> that if it tastes like avocado, you should know that you got it right. Honestly, my kitchen everywhere <laughs> is smelling like avocado already. <laughs> I've not tested it yet, but guys, it's smelling like avocado. <laughs> so I went ahead and poured it into the blender and I blended it to smooth. So I continued blending it till it's smooth. As you can see guys I did not add additional water I just poured it so I'm using the water I used in cooking it to blend it you make sure you don't add additional water and you make sure that it's not too thick and it's not too watery but if it's your first time of trying it for your baby you can make it more watery you know not too watery but at least more watery my own is a little bit thick because this is the perfect consistency i want for my baby you know he's seven months it's not his first time of trying it so that's why i made it a little bit thick so if it's your first time of trying it you can make it a little bit watery as fantastic favor says she said when she tried it for her son at first he vomited it but he didn't stop he continued and along the line he got used to the food so if your baby vomits it the first time still keep trying 
but make sure you give it to him little you know don't give him much at a time just little by little my i'm lucky my baby did not vomit it he, he enjoyed everything he ate it so well he didn't vomit anything at all the first time i tried it for him so i went ahead and poured it inside my little plastic thing then i will store it in my fridge fridge not freezer then all i would do is anytime i want to give it to him i will heat it up in a hot water hot water don't microwave guys just heat it up in a hot water if it's warm then you feed your baby and again once it's more than three days guys pour it away if your baby was not able to finish it in three days time pour it away and make a fresh one don't give it to your baby please this is all for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope it's helpful to you guys thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video i love you bye bye hallelujah bless the lord oh my soul for his right hand has gotten us victory